Hi, this is Stephen from Bike Town, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall your front wheel. This is a skill you'll need uh, if you need to take the wheel out to, re to fix a puncture, uh, replace the tyre, or if you need to transport your bike in a car, and the only way you're going to fit it in is if you remove the wheel. So, it's always nice to have a stand to work with, but in real life situations, that's not always going to be possible. What I would suggest is flipping the bike over, upside down, uh, this will reduce the chances of the bike falling over and you damaging a derailleur or scratching something up. It will also give you a nice steady platform to work with. Okay, I'm just going to make sure we can see that in the video. So, first thing to do here is remove or release the brakes. So if you're working with um, caliper brakes, there'll be a little lever which will pull the brakes, the brake pads away from the, the rim. If you're working with V-brakes, there'll be a little noodle and a little cradle that it sits in. You want to push the brakes together and then you can release the noodle from the cradle and that will release the brakes to the side and you can pull the wheel out that way. With disc brakes, you don't have to worry about that. So the next thing you're going to do is remove the wheel from the forks. If you have traditional kind of track nuts, it's usually a 15 mil spanner, socket wrench. Uh, if you're working with um, quick release skewer, which most kind of modern bikes have, it's dead easy. You want to, first thing you want to do is open the skewer fully, and then with both hands, you're just undoing the skewer evenly and incrementally. You don't have to take this part all the way off, you just want to do it as much as you need so you can pull the wheel out. Pull it up straight, taking care of the rotor, and that's you. Putting it back in, it's just as easy. Just align the rotor with the caliper and just take care when you're putting it back in. Once it's in, you're using your two hands again and you're evenly, incrementally doing your skewer up until you feel it start to tighten. When you get to the point where you have to close the skewer, a good rule of thumb is a correctly tightened skewer should leave a little bit of an imprint in your hand when it's tightened up. and it should leave a little bit of an imprint in your hand. Last thing to do is spin the wheel, make sure it's aligned in the fork correctly, make sure it's, the rotor is aligned in your caliper correctly and that is you. If you have been using V-brakes then just remember to reattach your noodle into the cradle and just check again that your wheel is aligned in the centre of the forks and in the centre of your brake pads. Flip your bike back over and you're ready to go. One more thing to remember is your quick release skewer should always be on the non-drive side, so the, the side opposite your chain ring. So both calipers, so, sorry, both skewers, skewer levers should be on the non-drive side. Um, that's all you need to know. If you get any comments, uh, please leave them below. If there's any topics that you want us to cover, any maintenance tips that you need, you can let us know there. And we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Cheers.